Good morning, Mr. Phil Thompson. My name is Dr. Sam Reddy. I'm a consultant psychiatrist working in the mental health service. Good morning. Good morning. Um, your case managers um, arranged this appointment, um, and uh, I wanted to talk to you a bit about your, your treatment and how that's going and whether you've had any, any problems with that. Is that okay? That's fine. Okay. Um, since this is the first time we're meeting, I'd just like to uh, get to know you a bit better. So can you start off by telling me a bit about yourself? Um, I'm 35, mm -hmm. um, a schizophrenic. I, I was diagnosed when I was 24. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and I'm, I'm doing well with it at the moment. Okay, mm. all right. So um, you've, you've been treated by the service for about 10 years, is that correct? Yes. Yeah, okay. And what, what symptoms of schizophrenia do you have currently? Um, currently I'm quite well, I'm not experiencing any. Okay. Well, tell me a bit about um, your social situation. How do you support yourself financially at the moment? Um, I'm on a disability pension. Okay. How long have you been on that for? Um, about 10 years. About 10 years, okay. And uh, who are the important people in your life? Um, my family. Okay. Mm -hmm. What medication are you on at the moment? Um, I'm on the Haldol injections and Cogentin. Okay. So just focusing on the current uh, situation, say over the last month, just want to ask you a few questions about how things are going for you. Have you had any strange experiences at all that you can't quite explain? No. 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 Like hearing voices when you're on your own? No. no. Your thoughts being interfered with no. by someone else on the outside? No. Like put into your mind, taken out of your mind, broadcast to other people? No. No? Okay. What about paranoid symptoms when you're walking on the street, for example, that people trying to harm you, spy on you, conspire against you? No. No? Receiving special messages from the television or the radio? No. No? Okay. Do you find that your actions, your feelings and your impulses are generally under control? Yep. Do you ever feel like they're being controlled by someone else on the outside besides you? No. Like feeling like a puppet in the string at all? No. No. Okay. What about your mood? What's your mood been like over the last month? Fine. Yeah? Yeah. Have you felt unusually sad or hopeless or depressed over the last month? No. Okay. Have you been able to enjoy things, you know, things that you normally would enjoy doing? Yeah. And what yeah. are the kind of hobbies that you, you have? I enjoy fishing and bowling. Okay. And you've been enjoying these yeah. recently yeah. as well? Yeah. Okay, good. Your energy levels keeping up with those activities? Fine. Okay. Yeah. What's your sleep been like? Sleep's fine, yeah. Okay. And your appetite? Good. Yeah. yeah. Have you lost any weight recently? No. What about um, thoughts of harm recently to yourself? No. No. Thoughts of harm to anyone else? No. Okay. What about feeling unusually nervous in yourself? Like constantly worrying about simple things you shouldn't be worrying about? No, no. Nothing no? like that. Nervousness in social situations, has that been a problem? No. No. Okay. Um, nervousness whilst travelling on buses or trains, has that been a problem? Mm, no. No. Okay. Um, well, it looks like things are quite going quite well for you, Phil. Um, do you, are you using any drugs or alcohol at the moment? No. No. Okay. I'm smoking cigarettes. Okay. And how much would you smoke on a daily basis? 40, 50, two packs. Okay. At the most. All right. Uh, do you have any other medical problems? No. Diabetes? No. High blood pressure? No. Ever had a significant head injury? No. Fits or seizures? No. Epilepsy? No. No. Okay. You've been on the haloperidol for, uh, for three years now. Um, have you noticed any side effects at all? Uh, no, I feel, I, feel, I feel as though I haven't, but um, my GP has noticed some, um, some mouth movements yeah. and some, something going on with my hands. Yeah. Um, I think that's why I'm here. Okay. Well, that's, that's one of the reasons why the case manager uh, arranged the appointment so, with it, so that we could go through an examination and we could look into this a bit further. Okay. All right. Well, Phil, is it okay for me to carry out an examination just to, to make sure that, that there, if there are any side effects that we can look into this and treat it further? That's fine. Okay. I'm going to move my chair here and just face you. Okay. Um, you can sit down in the chair and just relax. I'm just going to observe you and I'll ask you a few questions. Um, do you have anything in your mouth at the moment, chewing gum or mm. chewing on anything? No. Do you have any dental problems at all, pain in your, in your teeth or gums? No. No, none. Have you noticed any unusual movements in your face, your mouth, your arms, your legs? 
No, no, not at all. Has anyone else in your family um, noticed any of these unusual movements? No. You, you did mention your GP and your case manager, however, have noticed they unusual have. movements. What do they specifically say? Um, they s said they noticed um, that I'm doing something with my, my tongue. Okay. And that I was doing something with my hands. Okay. I haven't noticed, so okay. I'm not sure. Do you notice a sore jaw or a sore cheek at all? No, not especially. No. no. Okay. Do you have any problems? Uh, have you ever had, say, a severe cramp in your neck or your eyes rolling up or your back arching? No. A severe cramp, none of that. No. What about unusual restlessness in yourself such that you find it difficult to sit still? No. No? None of that. Okay. What I'm going to do now is just um, observe you. Okay? So you can just sit, relax, and I'll observe you. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. What I want you to do is to open your mouth. Ah, keep your tongue in. Ah. Close your mouth. Open it again. Ah. Good. Okay, close your mouth. Now stick your tongue out. Ah. Okay, you can close your mouth. Do it again. Ah. Stick your tongue out. Excellent. Okay. Now what I want you to do is to touch your thumb to your fingers as fast as you can with your right hand first. Very good. Now can you do that with your left? That's great. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is just to move your arms a bit so you can just relax. Mm -hmm. Let your arms go really, really floppy. Okay. Have you noticed any stiffness in your arms at all at any point? No. Okay, that's fine. Okay, excellent. Can I ask you to stand up? I want you to stretch your arms out like this. Okay, just keep them stretched. I'm just going to look at them. Okay, excellent. Now stretch your arms here. And just let them go. Just drop them. Very good. Okay. And what I want you to do is I'm going to move this chair back. Okay. I want you to walk from here. Here. Turn around. Go back. And do that again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Turn around. Try that one more time. Excellent. Okay, take a seat. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, Phil, um, from examining you, there seem to be just a few side effects. There's a little bit of um, some sort of rigidity, and I can notice a few movements, although I understand that you do not notice them, and that's something that we need to look at. We need to maybe consider a possible change in medication, because it's, it's basically indicating that you might be having side effects from them. Okay. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll discuss this with the case manager, mm -hmm. all right? And what we'll first do is stop the cogentin that you're taking, and we'll review the situation again in two weeks. So I'll come and see you, we'll see how things are going, and we may, uh, if, if, if this doesn't go away, then we may consider uh, a change in medication. But we'll discuss this further in two weeks. Okay. Okay? Thanks for coming in today. Dr. Rege, what are your findings on assessment? Thank you. I saw Phil today. Um, Phil is a Caucasian male um, who was able to give a good account of himself. Uh, looks his age, um, presented with a slightly unkempt beard, overall had no evidence of self-neglect. He showed no psychomotor agitation or retardation. He was cooperative during the interview, showed good eye contact throughout the interview, and overall I could establish a good rapport with him. On mental state examination, he presented with no psychotic symptoms, no psychological and biological features of depression, mania, or anxiety. On physical examination, though, he did present with side effects of medication, mainly orobuckle dyskinetic movements. There were no other evidence of Parkinsonian symptoms, akathisia, or dystonia. With regards to his risk assessment, there, were, there was no evidence of risk to himself or risk to others. Dr. Rio, how would you treat the side effects? Yeah. 
Uh, based on the assessment, uh, considering that Phil uh, does have um, tardive dyskinesia um, and does not have any other extrapyramidal side effects, considering that Phil is on a um, typical antipsychotic medication, which has uh, the propensity to increase um, the likelihood of tardive dyskinesia, um, this is definitely a contributing factor to his current side effects. Additional contributing factors include the fact that he's been um, put on cogentin, which is an anticholinergic medication, which also increases the likelihood of um, tardive dyskinesia. Um, additionally, he also smokes about 40 to 50 cigarettes a day, which would increase the risk of um, tardive dyskinesia. Now, in order to treat the side effects, um, the first thing that we need to do is to consider reducing or stopping his smoking. Um, we need to consider additional factors such as stopping the anticholinergic and most importantly, modifying the medication. Now, with regards to modifying the medication, we will consider risk-benefit analysis, which will be the risk of stopping medication weighed against the risk of relapse. There is the possibility of changing uh, Phil's medication from a typical antipsychotic injection to an atypical medication. Now, this could be either a depot medication if he is non-compliant with medication, or an oral medication if he does have good insight um, and one would have to carry out an insight assessment and um, consider oral um, antipsychotic medication which would decrease the side effects. So these are the main considerations um, at this point in time. There are specific um, additional medications that can be used which are tetrabenazine, vitamin E um, that treat tardive dyskinesia. However, with tetrabenazine, there is an increased risk of depression. One could also use dopamine agonists, such as bromocryptine. However, there is the risk of increasing or worsening the psychosis. A definitive treatment to treat um, tardive dyskinesia is clozapine, which would treat both the psychosis and also treat um, the side effects.